something new. Two things. One, no shave. Two, Blues Man Vintage, like Placid Blue Relic Base. Let's take a look at this guy. Kind of up close and personal here. Uh, John over at Blues Man is really, really good at making a nice, cool relic looking instrument that looks correct. One of the things that you'll notice about this is the fact that it's very clean. Even though it looks old, you have a new neck, a new body, new tuners. Notice they have a brand name on them and they're still looking old. Part of his process is that he can take really high quality parts and he can turn them into something that looks like this and it sounds good and it plays good. So let's kind of see what this one can do. All right, now, let's talk about this first. First off, we have the standard two single coil pickups. Okay, nothing out of the ordinary for this style of bass. Volume, volume, tone. In this instrument is a circuit called a redeemer. What that does is it runs on a nine volt underneath the cover here. What that does is it gives you a line level signal. So if you're running a cord that's more than 10 feet long, you just tend to lose signal. This will boost it to where it doesn't happen. So you have a full solid tone coming out of the bass. It does not EQ it, it does not affect it in any other way, it just sends the signal at line level. Okay, so for this test, and for this standard here, we're going to run like we always do. We're going to run the Trace Elliott 210 combo with the EQ flat. As it sits right now, I've got everything wide open. What, now if I start messing with this, I'm going to roll this down about a quarter on the tone. Again, I've got everything wide open, so let's just kind of boost the back pickup and see what we got here. Okay, so that's back pickup, not solo, but at least more so. So if I roll the front pickup back in, dial the back pickup out a little bit. Gee, I hear a riff. What song would that be from? There's some dude right now who's very popular as a bass player who plays a certain black bass with block inlays. Kind of does these line of lines. Anyway, so that's front pickup kind of attenuated. Again, this bass also is probably about eight pounds, maybe a little less. Uh, it's very, very lightweight. Almost has a little neck dive because it's lightweight, but it balances well on a reasonable strap. Uh, one thing also about this instrument, uh, it's Lake Placid blue, but it's yellowed, so it kind of looks greenish. Um, just again, part of the process that he does. His attention to detail on these things is stellar. I've not seen another type of bass like this where uh, you take it from a distance and it actually looks like the real thing. It looks like it's been played for 40 years. This is one of those that works. Neck profile wise, John likes to shave these down because when you get to the 12th fret, they tend to fatten up, especially on these type of necks. So he's flattened it out a little bit, so it has a little, kind of a little bit of a D shape in the back, but it's very light, very easy. Also, this neck is straight as a ruler. Uh, I actually have the action set a little higher than I normally do on these things, and these are not the usual light gauge strings. These are actually 45 to 100s or 45 to 105, I'm not sure which, um, but they're nickel. And that's what it does. Anyway, I've also been told um, by John, uh, this particular instrument, as well as others in different colors, are available. This, uh, this one actually is for sale on his website, that's bluesmanvintage.com. Uh, John Scott is the, uh, the maker here, he's the man. Uh, you'll see here shortly in my next couple of videos, you'll see a very cool pink P bass that I had built uh, that is actually coming back to me and uh, it will be staying. If you join the pink contingency that we have here, because after all, people say I'm the master of the pink bass. So, because of that, there will be more pink basses showing up here. If you have any questions about this instrument or you want to know more about it, once again, his site is bluesmanvintage.com. And uh, just ask for John and tell him you saw this video, and that way he kind of knows where his base has been. Anyway, I hope you all have a good one. For all you Nammers out there, rocking the last day of Nam, have a good time, and we'll see you when you come back.